Hello kids, it's Nana Story Time and I am here to read you a story and this is called Terry Treetop and the Lost Egg. This summer was going to be exciting for one little boy. He and his family were going camping and he was sure to enjoy. This little boy is five years old and big trees he loves to climb. His name is Terry Tree Treetop since it is his favorite pastime. Terry is very cute and chubby. He has freckles on his nose. He has patches over the rips in his clothes because always up the tree he goes. So there's Terry, the treetop. When they arrived at the campsite, Terry Treetop looked around at the blue sea and all the, the tall trees and the green grass on the ground. Terry immediately unpacked his bag and got his binoculars out. He spied something lying on the grass and then he gave a shout. What is that little white round thing lying under the tree? Then he cried, it is an egg. Who owns this thing I see? So he put the little egg in a basket. Who does this egg belong to? Terry curiously asked aloud. I promise to take you back home to the egg he vowed. Terry got a small basket and he patted it with leaves to make a bed. He gently placed the egg inside and thought of a plan in his head. So see, he put the egg in the basket. Now he's thinking about what am I gonna do with this egg? He walked slowly to the rocky shore until he came to the sea. He saw a big turtle and he asked very politely, Excuse me, ma'am, is this your egg? I found it on the ground. The turtle had a big shell on its back. At first, she made no sound. Oh, no, the turtle then replied. For me, it's not a game. I have not lost one single egg. And Sandy is my name. And there's Sandy and there's all of her little baby turtles and they've already come out of their little eggs and they're going to the water. She told him, all my eggs are here. They hatch inside a hole I dug. Later they will run to the water, though for now they are still in there quite snug. Terry nodded his set head sadly and quickly said goodbye. I promised to bring this egg back home. I promise I would try. So Terry kept on walking towards a spring of sweet water until he saw something long and brown. It was an alligator. Excuse me, please, he said softly. Does this egg belong to you? The alligator looked at him and replied, I am Allie. How do you do? Allie was friendly and she said, Let me look at it just in case. I'm sorry, boy. That is not my egg. I had mine in a secret place. When my little gators hatch, Allie said while shaking her snout, I bring them to the water in my mouth. That's how I carry them out. My babies are afraid. Into my mouth they run. I protect them from bad weather, heavy rain, and too much sun. Very sadly, Terry gave his thanks. He walked away and sat on a log. There was a pond beside him where he met Fergie the Frog. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. Hello. My name is Terry Treetop. Could you help me out? Ribbit, ribbit. He carefully showed her the egg, but the frog said with a pout, Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. I always lay a chain of my mini, I always lay a chain of mini eggs. The one in your hand is not my own. In the pond, my baby tadpoles stay with me until they're grown. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. From the tadpoles, they grow up to become green frogs just like me. Look in the water. There they are. They are 
so lovely to see. So there's all the little little froggy tadpoles. Rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. And there's a mama froggy. Terry frowned and deeply sighed. As he went to search again, he walked back to the meadow where he found Betty the hen. Hello there, may I ask a question? Then Terry explained his task. I found an egg laying on the grass. Could it be yours, I ask? I sit on my eggs to keep them warm, Mother Betty replied. When they hatch, they become chicks. They follow when I go outside. They are cuddly and so cute. My chicks are fluffy and yellow. I'm sorry that I can't help you, Terry. You look like a real good fellow. Sadly, Terry looked at the egg. It looked so lost, so small and round. Who do you belong to, little one? But the egg didn't make a sound. We'll keep on looking, little egg. Your mother must be sick from worry. I promise to get you back home, so we had better hurry. Terry suddenly had a thought. Was there something I didn't see? He used his binoculars again to look back at the tree. He saw a hole in the tree trunk. That's it, Terry guessed. The egg came from up high in the tree. It fell out of its nest. Terry ran back to the tree and in the hole he saw a nest made of twigs and branches, some leaves and bits of straw. See, there's the puts the egg in the nest. Carefully he placed the egg inside, then waited for its mother to return. I will stay here till she comes back, Terry said with, no, with so much concern. So Terry patiently waited. He did not leave the egg alone. Don't worry, I'm here beside you. I'll stay till your mother comes home. He waited for a very long time. He almost fell asleep. Then from the egg he heard a sound, so Terry took a peep. Tweet, 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 tweet. The little egg was hatching. Then Terry heard a tweet. A little baby chick came out. He looked so cute and sweet. Are you my mother? Asked softly with adorable little coo. Terry shook his head, no and said, I'm just looking after you. Make that little sound again, Terry told the little bird, so your mother will hear you saying your first word. The little bird made another noise and stepped out from the shell with a crack. It looked to the sky. It chirped happily. It saw its mother flying back. Suddenly, Terry heard a flutter of wings above his head. Peepy the parrot landed in the nest and she said, Happily, my baby egg was lost, but now I see it has been found. I was afraid that it was gone for good when it fell down to the ground. Who helped my egg to get back home? I'm very grateful to you. Whoever helped us out today must be brave and caring too. Terry cleared his throat and said, <clears throat> with a big friendly grin, I helped the egg get back home. What an, an adventure it has been. Mother Parrot was very happy and Terry felt just the same. I will always be here to help you. Terry Treetop is my name. And that's the end of the story. So thank you for listening. And Nana will be back again tomorrow to read you another story. And if there's something that you would really love me to read, just comment under one of my videos and I will find the, the book and read that to you. And I love you, Lily Poo, and I love you, Phoenix. And I'll see you again soon.